Hey guys, Mark here again. Hey, so I'm actually revisiting this 2.8 ohm Tyco armature that I had built a while ago that I was never happy with how the motor never felt like it was spinning smoothly. And it was because of that pressed on bushing there, or spacer, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I said I couldn't get it off. Well, I was chatting with one of my subscribers, Art, and he said you should be able to get it off. And you know what, he was right. I was trying to use these pliers initially with the kind of serrated teeth and felt like I was gonna damage it. But I ended up using this flat, smooth pliers and I was able to grab it on the side and kind of work it off without any issue so now I have that off I have that extra space I'm gonna go ahead and try and reuse these end uh, bulkheads that I bought that have the bushings in them that I said I couldn't uh, get working because it felt like it was too tight so I'm gonna go ahead and put this all back together and we'll see how it runs. You know how much I love building these Tyco chassis, so I'm not even gonna to try to, to film while I'm building this. So I will report back how it goes and show you the finished product. <laughs> all right, thanks guys. All right guys, I got the chassis back together and I'm actually getting a little better at putting these together. It didn't take me that long. Feels much better, much smoother. Yeah, getting that little pressed on uh, bushing off was definitely key. So again, this is the 2.8 .8 ohm arm with the, I think these were Pro 8 and Pro 10 traction magnets, Pro 8 motor magnets. Got a Viper O-ring front end and a Viper rear end set up in this car as well. So let's, uh, Let's take this thing for a test ride and see, see how it goes compared to how it was. Oh yeah, much better, much smoother, pretty damn quick now too. Much, much better. I'm happy now. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that solves that. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.